Good morning, evening, afternoon. Welcome back to The Daily Download. I'm your host, Stevie Stalls. After a week of crazy headlines and all eyes on the merge, we're letting the dust settle a little bit. Seems regulation might happen soonish. The White House releases regulation framework, Gensler is getting grilled, and we have our eyes on the next major upgrade with Cardano. Make sure you hit that like and sub button for the cutest news in crypto. Let's check out the markets heading into the weekend. Weekend sale! BTC is sitting at 19,465. Ethereum is at 1424. Our biggest dunkers of the day are Cell Token at minus 20.6%, Ravencoin at minus 14.9%, and ETC at minus 10%. Our biggest pumpers of the day are Luna Classic at 30%, Luna at 19.6%, and Chili's at 6%. Headlines! Headlines. White House releases first ever digital asset framework. It highlighted the need for protecting consumers, preventing crypto-related crime, and maintaining the country's standing as a global financial powerhouse. It also shed further light on the government's potential plans to launch a CBDC. Whoa! Why SEC Chair Gary Gensler was grilled during Senate crypto inquiry. Gensler was called out for failing to recognize that cryptocurrencies are distinct from traditional investment products like bonds and stocks. Gensler wants proof of stake and most other crypto to be treated as securities. Maybe he should be listening to Senator Toomey a bit more in the banks. I mean his buddies a little less. <laughs> With the merge done, it's all eyes on Cardano's vassal upgrade. This upgrade is considered a stepping stone to realizing the chain's ambitions of global adoption by enabling high transaction volume. Let's see what you got, Husky. <laughs> Thailand SEC decides to ban crypto companies offering staking and lending services. The aim is to protect customers from lending services that froze withdrawals in the past few months owing to the industry-wide decline. May not be a terrible idea. Michael Saylor says nearly 60% of Bitcoin mining energy comes from sustainable sources. Saylor claims the energy concerns are to, quote, distract regulators, politicians, and the public from the inconvenient truth that proof-of-stake crypto assets are generally unregistered securities trading on unregulated exchanges to the detriment of the retail investing public. <sighs> Jeez, way to bury everything, Saylor! Remember, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm a puppet. It sure was an emotionally exhausting week with the historic Ethereum merge. Congrats to the team for pulling that off. Our quote of the day is, don't be pushed around by the fears in your mind, be led by the dreams in your heart. Roy T. Bennett, have the best weekend ever. so we can blast off together. Let's vibe!